I didn't realize Adderall was like that when I first got prescribed it. I didn't know that. I had never heard of it. It's a growing trend on college campuses, the abuse of prescription stimulants. A student I spoke to who prefers to remain anonymous says it's fairly easy to get the drug at school. But unlike statistics from other universities, a psychiatrist at UNR says students here aren't demanding prescriptions. I've been doing this for for 15 years and I've had one or two people in my whole 15 years uh, who I thought were, you know, kind of being pushy about it and not wanting to hear um, kind of what my opinion was. They just wanted to, you know, they wanted the prescription. They wanted it now. So if they're not getting these medications from doctors, then from where? It was just like, yeah, you can have some of it. Like, I don't use all of it. Students at UNR who sell their prescription stimulants say they didn't start selling intending to create a business. Rather, their friends approach them seeking to buy. But it seems many students are unaware of the negative side effects that can come with taking medications like Adderall, Ritalin, and Vyvanse. I can't, my heart rates, sometimes I can't breathe. It's kind of like a nervous feeling. But what students may not know is that the possession of one Adderall pill is considered a felony here in Nevada and could lead to prison time and hefty fines. A new organization on campus is working to raise awareness about the dangers of abusing prescription medications. PUR stands for Prescription Use Reduction Education, and campaign officials say they just want to improve mental and physical health in order to increase student success. If people are more educated, I feel that they are less likely to do the things that are going to be unhealthy for them in the end. So I just really want to educate people and help them be the best person that they can be. According to a recent study by the National College Health Association, in the past 12 months, 6.8% of students at the University of Nevada, Reno, have admitted to illegally using prescription stimulants. But despite the appeal to pop pills, some think that doctors should advise alternatives for helping students to focus. I would never, like, if I have a kid and Adderall's still around, I would never, like, let my kid, like, that's not prescribed. 